Hi there! Little Jim's Creations 1 here. Today we're doing a tutorial on how to make a beaded elastic bracelet, stretch bracelet. Beastmash, great channel, check it out. Link in the description below. Yeah! By the way, did I mention that it's a... Uh... Beastmaster here! Woo! <laughs> it's a joint effort on our parts. We're working together today. So, the first thing we're going to need to do is we're going to need to... Wait. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, guys. But before you continue this video, if, okay, if you haven't seen the video for the bead grab bag where we opened up, where she opened up all of these beads, go check that out right now. Link in the description below. Pause the video, go check that out, and then come back. Okay? Got it. Okay. So we're starting off by measuring our elastic, okay? So I... I'm measuring out four inches. So we take out four inches. Four. Okay. And then what we do, and that's just of a five millimeter elastic. Then we have to do like you do with a balloon before you blow it up. You have to stretch it. Ooh. Just in case. And it breaks. Just in case it does that. You don't want weak pieces. So you want to give it a nice good stretching. So we stretch it out. Don't forget this like you do on a balloon. <laughs> this is like you do with a balloon, yes. So now if you look, it's still a nice size. So I'm going to move my ruler out of the way. The other materials you're going to need is obviously some beads. I don't know if you can see these. And we have some neutral beads here that we have. So, t so today we're going to be using some blue beads. They're like, they're, they're really blue. They're nice and bright. And we're going to be using some reddish beads. Uh, from the grab bag video that's and linked go check down it below. Out. And we have some orange beads. So yeah, great, uh, great video. You should go check out the grab bag video. And then, like I said, we're using some neutrals. So yeah. Okay. So, Beastmaster. First thing we're going to do is we are going to start putting on our beads. Now we want this to probably fit my wrist. So what color do you want to start with? Let's do blue. Okay. Because blue is actually a not like color because it, cause it's, cause it's blue, not, not red. Okay. It's not in the fire. And then you want to do... Oh, and the other thing we're using is also a charm. A very a, pretty charm. A little petite charm. Which we're going to need a jump ring for. So you would pick what next color you want. Do you want to okay. do a neutral or do so you... Don't... Um, don't Where's lose this. We don't want it to fall off because there's no knot at the other side. Okay, so then you get uh, your second blue and you just put it right here. Put, put, it, put it right here. And boom. Second one. So our pattern will be we're going to put three blues or three of the colors. Okay, that one's there. We have three now. Can you, you can I hope. Yeah, you can see them. There's the our video. jump ring. So yeah, that that this. Okay. I'll so show. then, what color would you like? This little piece of metal is so small you can't see it. Yeah, it, uh, it's it's called a jump ring. Basically, you use this so the charm is actually facing the right way. Um, Do you want a neutral? Yes. No. Do you want a bigger neutral or small neutral? We're going to do two neutrals. Um, what? Up? The silver. Let's do. Ah, sorry. Let's just do um, two. Uh, let's ah. Two black. Two black. We'll see how that looks, and if it doesn't look very good, we'll probably bring it up to four. Four, maybe two, maybe four. Okay, so we're at two. What do you think of that? I think we might want four. 
Thank you. Four. And then what are we going to do next? We're going to do some of the red. Uh, yeah, we're going to do some red because red is an actually lit color. Get it? Because it's, it's one of the colors of the fire. So it but might be hard to see against our red backing here, but we'll put those on. And then are we going to do four more black again? Uh, yes. Okay. And then we're going to do two more blue. Sorry, three more blue. Um, what about the kind of orangey rust color? So, the basically, my plan for this is we're going to do two, uh, two, two blues and then two of the, like, you know how on, like, the color wheel there's the cool colors and the warm colors? Well, red and orange are both warm colors. So, we're going to use our cool color, blue. So, we're going to use it once and then use a, uh, a, a warm color, and then use our blue again, and then use the other warm color. Just so So what color are we doing next? Blue. Okay. Now we have to keep track of where our middle is going to be because we want to put our charm in the middle. So if we're doing for black again, let's just see, whoops, so there we are, the great stringing, I think if we did our four black and then did the orange, we could put the, put the pendant, should I put the charm in the center of the orange maybe, well except that you're doing three, three doesn't really have a center does it? So we can put in the middle of the blacks. Do you want to put in the middle of these blacks? Sure. Okay, so first we have to put our jump ring on. This part will be really hard to see because, well, the jump ring. I'm showing them. So you take your jump ring, you open it, then you put your charm on it, and you close your jump ring. I have to Boom. get some tools. To the tool shed. No, I'm joking. It's not a shed. It's a, it's a bag. But we'll just quickly do. I have my the wire working stuff. I have my flat nose and my curved nosed pliers. So here we go. We're just going to. Okay, the grabbers and the squeezers. <laughs> There you go. We're going to make sure that's good. There we go. Then we're going to thread it. Oh, let's make sure that that's totally lined up. We don't want it coming off. Yeah, because if that comes off, well, then it will get lost and that that's bad. Yes. So we're just going to make sure it's absolutely perfect. Got to be perfect. Okay. So now we put on the charm, and then we'll put our two other blacks. And then what color, oh, then we're doing the brown? Uh, the black and the, right. Yeah, the black and then the brown. Then the brown. Or the orangish color. Yes. So, here we are. Another lit color. Um, there's the hole. Sometimes it's hard to see. Yes, I hate it when I can't find the hole. There we go. One. Okay, I think we're going to have to measure this on my wrist here. Pretty quick. And if it's not perfectly centered, that's okay because... The knot for this um, will be hidden. So, thank you. Now, okay, so four more black, and then what color? And then blue. Blue. I like that blue. Um, yeah, blue's actually one of my favorite colors. Really? Is there a reason why blue is one of your favorite colors? 
Does well, it remind you of something? It sort of reminds me of summer because reasons. Um, it reminds me of summer because, well, the blue sky and stuff. Oh, excellent. That's very nice. Okay. But it's only my second favorite color. Green's better. So, let's see. Not to be colorist. Not quite or long or enough. So we'll do our black and we'll do one more color and then black and we should be good. So what color do you want to do? Um, so since we just did that, another red. Four. And then three red and then we'll do our four. Also, did I mention, check out Beastmaster, great channel. Link in the description. Yes, Beastmaster is one of my best subscribers. Just like another shout out for a Sam. Sam goes blam boy, best channel, yeah. <laughs> there you go. Wait, is it Sam goes blam why or Sam goes blammy? I think it's Sam goes blam why. Cause then it's, or Sam goes blam. Why? <laughs> if it was Sam goes blam, you go. Poof. Okay, so now this is an important part. This is where we do our knot. Wait, yeah. are you sure it's ready? Yeah. Okay, so you do your knot. You tie a proper knot like you would for your shoes. Then you do it again. Okay. Like a knot for your shoes. Tie it. Pull it tight. And while you're still holding the two ends, you want to pull it tight the other way. Okay. And then we're going to tie another knot like our shoes. And then we pull it tight the other way. Okay, then we do another knot. And we pull it tight the other way. And then okay. we take our glue, and it's just Elmer's school glue. I think that's copyright. And then we put a dab of glue on our knot. We just have to find the knot. Just a dab of glue. Okay. Can you close that, Beastmaster? Then we hide our knot in our beads. Snip our elastic. And we're done. We have a very cute stretch bead bracelet. I'll bring it up closer so you can see. So as you can tell the pattern would have kept going in the, the next one would have been a blue and then after that it would have been an orange. Yes. Wait, no, the next, yeah. I think this looks lovely. So thanks Beastmaster. High five. Yeah. <laughs> I hit the beads. <laughs> you get, get the beads now. Buy them now. So thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Leave a comment below. 